Hey guys, it's the Quantity Dreamer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to continue the videos on the XR Interaction Toolkit with the Oculus Quest. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can control the UI with the left controller and also how we can pick up items with the right controller. So I'm going to be showing you what you see behind the scenes, which is a video playing where we can pick up an item such as a gun. We can also pick up an airplane. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. Today I'm going to continue the videos on the XR with the Oculus Quest. I want to show you how we can use one of our hands to actually pick up items. So there are different interactors that we can use. I show you on the previous videos that we could use either the left hand or the right hand as an X-ray interactor, which means that there is a ray that gets raycasted to the UI and we can interact with the UI. We can also use that ray to basically, you know, teleport and do things like that. So what I want to do is I want to show you how we can use either the X-ray or we can just use a simple interactor that is going to allow us to pick up an item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my project here. I'm going to make sure that I have enough space and we're going to be using and using a couple of the items in the polygon starter kit that is provided by Synthi Studios. So I'm just going to add something simple. We can just add a box and then put it right next to the controller. I'm going to also resize that, that box because I think it's a little bit too big. We can do maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0.3. And yeah, I think that's fine. Let's actually make it a little bit small, uh, bigger. So let's do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. And it's going to be just right next to the player, which in, in our case is going to be the, the extra rate. You can see it right there. And what I'm going to do is just going to move it down and just bring it closer because we're going to be, because this is not using the, you know, the player controller that we use for the Oculus integration. The, the player is going to be basically sitting stationary and then we're just going to move around. And so what I'm going to place, I'm going to place just an item right above it that we can, that we can pick up. We can, I don't, I don't have anything planned, so we can just see what type of object we want. So let's say that we have an airplane, we also have a gun. So let's go ahead and, and add the airplane. It's going to be, it's going to be giant, but we're just going to be resizing it. We can do something like that and then we can just pivot it at zero, zero, zero. And I think it's still too big, but we'll just resize it here in just a second. It's going to put it perhaps something, I think something like that works. Let's put the airplane there and we can, you know, we can pick up the airplane. And I think it's, there we go, something like that. I think that works. And then I'll do the same thing with the gun we can pick up. Let's go ahead and grab a cool gun. We can grab this gun right here. I think that gun, it's, it's a little bit too big as well. So let's go ahead and do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. And what I'm going to do for the gun is I'm going to, let's go ahead and rotate it so that it's sitting. So we can do negative, let's go ahead and do negative 90. We can just go ahead and put it right there. And I'm not going to be positioning the gun correctly at the beginning, but we'll just, I just want to show you how we can, how we can grab the gun. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it so that we get a little bit more space. And let's go ahead and move the airplane forward a tiny bit more. And we can just have the gun maybe sitting sitting at that point. So we're going to be able to pick up these items. And to pick up those items, we're going to have to add a, a, an object that is going to allow us to, to grab them. So we can just go ahead and add component, search for XR Grab Interactable. And that's going to be the option basically to allow to grab those, those objects. I'm also going to do the same thing with the, with the airplane. Let's go ahead and just select the XR Grab Interactable. And and Unity has something that is really cool. So you can you can say, you know what, I want to grab this transform, but I want to perhaps offset the grabbing option. So per se, let's say that I want to grab this object, but I want to make sure that as soon as I grab it, it attaches to the back of the airplane. I can do that by just adding a transform and associating that transform with this property. I can also do the same thing with the gun. If I wanted to you know, grab the gun, but just make sure that it gets added to a specific transform, then I can do that. So what I'm going to do is, because these two are, are prefabs, I'm going to go ahead and unpack them. And I'm going to unpack this one as well. So what I'm going to do is, for each one of these, I'm going to be adding a new transform. And it's just going to be a very basic game object that we're going to be adting. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it right here. I'm just going to say create empty. And this one, I'm just going to call it grab. It doesn't really matter what we call it. I think grab is a, is a good option. And what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and rotate Let's go ahead and rotate the gun back to what we had, because so, I want to make sure that the the everything it's you know is is properly rotated, 
and okay let's go ahead and move it back down here and I'm gonna just change the scale to be one one and one that way we clean we clean all the other transforms so normally you start with the transforms first and then you you know you can change it later and let's go ahead and move it up and I think something like that and then I want to grab the gun but as soon as I grab it I want to attach it to the you know the normal place where you will be grabbing the gun so I think I think we can probably just move it up a little bit let's go ahead and go into 2d mode it'll be easier to to make sure that we have everything in center I'm also going to be moving this a little bit to the left and there we go and I think that looks good there let's go ahead and go back into 2d mode and we can just rotate here go into auto graphic view and we just so that's what's going to happen we're just going to grab it and it's going to be attached to that transform and i think that offset is is perfect so let's do the same thing for the for the airplane but in this case i'm just gonna just gonna copy that object just cheat a little bit and then move it move it all the way up and let's go ahead and see where it is it's gonna put a zero let's go ahead and clear everything zero 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 and then this is gonna be one 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 I want to make sure that the transforms are clean just like I said just like in Maya or any type of 3d you know 3d tool make sure that you have freeze transformations in in this case I think it'll be cool if I put the let's go ahead and grab the the put the transform right about that area I think that I think that's perfect and well I think we have everything that we need now what I'm gonna do is for each one of these components I'm going to select the transform that we're gonna be attaching to so it's gonna do that one there and then also this one let's go ahead and attach that one and we should be good as far as the objects let's go ahead and also move these two objects to be organized in the environment so it's going to go ahead and drag them and then put them inside of the environment object and i'm just going to move them up just to make sure that things are stay organized and we just move these down we don't really need to pay much attention to that project area anymore and then these two are just going to be on the top these are going to be the ones that we're going to be focusing on and then the gun now, what I'm going to do for the gun is we're going to be rotating the gun. Let's do 90. I think 90 is fine. We don't need to go negative. And then I'm just going to rotate it a tiny bit here. Let's put it. Let's make sure we're not going through the geometry. And I think something like something like that works. It doesn't need to be. And then what I can do is we can just resize this box, make it more like a table. And then I just do I think something like that. Something like that works. All right, so now that we have that, how do we grab them? And that's the next question. I'm going to leave the left controller alone because I want to be able to control the UI. So that left controller is going to have an XR controller. It's going to have an XR ray interactor that is going to interact with the UI. But the right controller, I want the right controller to be the one that we're going to be able to use to pick up items. So if you notice right now, this is using an XR ray interactor. And if we go right here and we right click on it, you can go into XR. And there's multiple options in here. You can do, you can use just a direct interactor. And as soon as you do that, it's going to be adding everything that we need. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete it. And I'm gonna do it right on the, you know, in the area where we need to do it. I'm gonna right click on the, the current controller and I'm going to select the direct interactor. And it looks like you got added to the button anyway. So we just, we can just move it right here. And then I'm just going to make sure that the control, yep, the control component is added. So it's going to copy this name and then we can just delete the right controller and then just rename it to be the one the new one so just as a, as a summary we we just created a direct interactor that is going to allow us to select basically grab those objects and we we just remove the the right hand controller that we had we renamed the one that we just added and now we have one that is going to be the xr direct interactor that is going to allow us to pick up the items i keep repeating things but I want to make sure that everything makes sense and then if we notice on the left on the left hand we have a left hand controller node make sure that we do the same thing here we're just going to do this is going to be for the right hand and i think everything else should stay should stay the same this component here is offset a little bit and i'm not sure why i don't think it needs to be upset i'm just going to set it back to zero make sure that everything is clean and i think that's everything that we need this is going to allow us to to interact with these two components and just just to make sure just to be safe the starting to selected interactable it's going to be one of these but i don't think i want to set them i'm just going to leave it as it is and then this is you know it's going to be the xr interaction manager that is going to be 
there by default. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to build this to my device. So let's go ahead and go into build settings. And I did modify the scene and I normally don't do that, but we can just use this scene. I think, I think that's fine. So as you can see on the left hand, I have an array. I also can pick up items with the with my right controller. You can't really see the controller because I haven't really added anything, but that's the right controller. As you can see, I can pick up the items and the transform point gets selected correctly, just like I showed you when we were doing the demo in Unity. I can also interact with the UI just like I, I could on the previous video, except that I can now also interact with the direct interactor on the right hand. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video on Oculus Quest development with the XR Interaction Toolkit provided by Unity. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And also make sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources from developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.